What is up, Togs? So we're headed to downtown Sacramento this Saturday afternoon, and we're going to check out an event called Chalk It Up. So Chalk It Up has volunteer artists come downtown and they buy a square of sidewalk. So they take their square and they do what they will with it using chalk art. Um, I've been by the artwork after the fact, after the event's been over, and just kind of seeing the remnants of what's left. And I've always been super impressed with, uh, with the artwork that I've seen. So I'm excited to go. We also have a friend who is a pyrographer. And if you haven't heard of pyrography, um, we'll make sure to get her in on this video so you can check that out too, because she's amazing. And I'm sure there'll be a link in the description for you to either purchase her art or at least check out what she's got going on because she's an amazing artist. So anyway, we're headed downtown now and we'll meet up back with you again when we get there. Easier to work that way when it's bigger? Um, it really depends on the detail. Um, I just can't work really small, otherwise right. you're using tweezers and right. <laughs> that will drive you crazy. Well thank you. <laughs> yep, you're welcome.
it to blend the color or what is it? No, I spray it to, to keep it uh, adhered to the sidewalk. Oh, it otherwise it. it'll, it'll blow, blow away? It doesn't actually blow away from you when we leave, walk on it. Okay. So they, met, they destroy your artwork. Yeah. So that's, it at least keeps it, the majority of it, so when I come back tomorrow, You just touch it, a, touch touch it up a little up. and then... Yeah, it doesn't completely destroy the design. Cool. Thank you. Okay, tell us in general about pyrography. I'm a pyrographer. I, my company is Betsy's Pyrography, and I do hand burned wood. So I don't use any lasers. I do it all by hand. I have a pen that's like, it's really hot, and I draw with heat. So this piece right here is my bridge, and I used um, different levels of heat to get the different um, darknesses and light. And I did um, I did all little dots. So they're all little dots, which is called pointillism. So if, I don't know if you see it really teeny tiny, just really subtle. And my favorite one's Han Solo. Talk about Han Solo. Oh, Han Solo. And Carbonite. Han Solo and Carbonite. He had some friends. He had Princess Leia and and Darth Vader, but they're gone. But I still have my Han Solo, which was actually, took me the longest. It took me, I wanna say about eight and a half hours. This one, when I watched the movie, when I was a kid, I just thought there was so much emotion in his face. And he was like stuck there with just all this intense emotion. So I really like that. But this is my old one that I did most of my work with so far. It has different attachments that you can screw on and so if I want something really fine, I have one that's really pointy and really fine. And if I want shaded, I have a dull one. So it's kind of like a dull pencil tip where I can do the shading. And then the new one's just fancier. New one's fancier. It gets really, really hot, so I can do it a little faster. And um, I can control the temperature. So I don't have to sit there for a long time. I can turn it up really hot, the darker. So it speeds up the yep. process. Yep. My earrings, I do my earrings on really, really light wood. So they're not heavy and they don't pull on your ears. And I do all sorts of things. I do kind of the more conservative things that I like to do um, characters. And I have um, my David Bowie. I have a couple of Star Wars ones still. And, um, and my daughter made these ones. This is the corn collection. People commissioned yeah. me to do yes, random I've stuff. Yes, I've done, I did, uh, what was his name? His name was 669. Six, and he has rainbow hair. All right, thanks, Betsy. All right, thank you. So lots of fun out here at the Chalk It Up event here in downtown Sacramento. Uh, big shout out to Betsy's Pyrography and Stephanie Almander is the Reclamist. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. I'm that one guy, and I am out.